that is the apical tuft and that's the little creasy part in the back that bumps up against the bone there's a blood vessels and so forth in it and here it is right over here let me see if I can get that where it makes sense you can see hold on back out of here there we go all right you see those two spots there the red is up on the right and the black is over here that's the vein and artery these are those little anchor balls that go in there now if I put a little water on there you would see that it would take on a different look you see the red all of a sudden boom right away instantaneously rehydrates all those little dots are from the LED that was up inside the microscope up here but you see it that's the artery that's the vein that's the hole right there that's the hole now these are where those things invest you know the balls and so forth <laughs> so um, that is uh, that and you know here I'll just show you the fabric of it you see how when you get something wet you see the difference how I don't know if everybody understands this I keep saying make sure you get a little moisture on it so that I can see what's going on you see how much difference it makes between where it's wet and it's dry All right. you can see the mineralization you can see the the blood and you know uh, it, it takes on a whole different meaning when it's like that now that one over on the right there I'll bet you could see the blood actual blood cells in there if that was blown up a little more but anyway this is um, it's something that's fun to do <laughs> You know, it's it's interesting to look at this stuff. People have they just missed it and forgot about it and left it alone. But it's not. I'm not going to do that. No, here's here's um. I can take this thing out of the holder. Now this is that that bone that I said had the fabric on there. You all have the same stuff. You see, there it is there. And here's some of these little bone foramen and uh, so forth. The blood vessels in there that are in there. Here's that. Here, let me just put a little water on here. I keep saying do this and do that, and sometimes I don't do it myself because I understand this stuff and I just sort of roll past the thing. Everybody else does too, but that is just not the case. Now, alright, that is that hole in. Whoops, going the wrong way. Here we go. You see, that's that cavity, that big cavity. This is the ligament attachment. All right. Now, down in this big hole here, this big round ball fits in there. And I said all these little nubbins, these are where those nubbins go. You see down in there? And they lock in there like unbelievable because you cannot pull these apart. And this is what... All over the earth, they have these gigantic balls. Here, let me just show you what this looks like. I, I we already saw this, but this is the one, and I was looking into that hole right there. Now, just to show you what that bone looks like, let's see if I can get a little moisture on that. And then let's see what the inside of bones turn to. Now, when I was just talking about that ligament attachment, those things anchor to these stones that stick up on the earth and they can't understand the a Christian's butterball in India I believe it is they tried to push it over they couldn't push it over with 12 elephants it was sticking up with a stalk that was like six inches around absolutely amazing that's the bone that's it that's it that's what's all that's left of the bone oops maybe I'm not getting it all in there there it is right there remember I said that was all that's left well that's all that's left Now, what happens to the rest of the bone? You see it here? You see how black and see all that blackness in there? That's what happens with bones. This is the center. This is the center part. Whoops, where am I? There it is. This is the center. Whoops, can, can't see it. There it is. This is the center part I'm going to be, you're going to be seeing up here in the camera now. Look at how black, whoops. This is the stuff 
that creates a ton of hydrocarbons. That's that internal part. Look at how it's it's just, it's just literally bloody. And uh, this is what creates the hydrocarbons. Yeah. And that w under pressure and in the earth and so forth, it will end up bleeding itself into the, the, the solvents that are in the ground. And you end up, I guess they said something, you get about 10% um, oils mixed in with the waters because they, they dissolve and go into solution in the water in the earth. But it's pretty obvious what the hell this is, so I'm, I don't know how much more I have to go over this now. Let's see, I guess we saw enough for now. Alright, that's just mud fossils, my friend. There's not much more to say about it at this point. We just need people to start paying attention. Oh, I want to say something. I think there was a, a guy this morning, I can't remember the name, but I do want to show something here. Uh, he was showing, whoops, again, wrong mouse. Okay, we're out. Here we go. Now, he was showing something of a, a, a specific crystally looking thing. That look at you know look at the stuff that's in the earth. I'm finding here. It's just no. And this is stuff all came off my property. And I have two giants on my property. No question whatsoever. One of them is over 200 feet and one of them is over 60 feet. And I know exactly where they are and I can see bones sticking out of the ground and laying on the ground. I just can't move them. Uh, now, going up here, where were we? Let's see. Where was the thing this guy had? Look at this stuff. Isn't that amazing? Where the heck is it? Look at this. Blood stain. Look at that thing. This is the thing I can't figure out. This scares me. You see these? That's a blood vessel. It's a blood vessel in a rock. Well, guess what I found coming out of one of them? Look, there's another one. You see, and that would have been the bone, folks. Bone form and next to it there. Look at this. Look at that thing coming out. That's that's not a plant growing out of there, I don't think. Somebody said to me, be careful, that could be a spirochete. Which be, and I did look it up, and the damn thing looks like it could be a spirochete. It kind of scares me now to have the damn thing laying around here. Now, where is that other thing? Look at this. This is amazing stuff. Look at that. This, this is a blood vessel. Whoops. That's a blood vessel in a, a geode. They call it a smectite. <laughs> it's a blood vessel. Look at this one. Yeah, that's just a bloody mess. <laughs> There's another one, bloody mess. No blood from a rock. The gold gushing out of a toe. That's that is skin. That's 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 a, a fingerprint. <laughs> Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. Now, that is blood that just comes out from these things. I've had people say, oh, I thought I saw blood come out. Well, you do. You see blood coming out. And you wash it out and it'll come back out again. I just had it happen again this morning. Here's another spot right there. <laughs> see that? What do we got up here? It's just a blood vessel. And, oh, this is the kind of stuff. You see these little fabric patterns here? I'm going to see, you'll see it much better. This, we're looking down into a bone form in there. But those little fabric patterns are what I'm trying to find to show this guy. You see, and this is, um, that's mineralization around, that's grip skin, really, is what it is. And that's uh, some blood and some highly transitioned crystals, which is still all blood. It all came from a bloody, see there, that, that's, those are blood vessels and turn all the crystals and, you know, certain types of chemistry and certain types of solvents in the ground will percolate through and it will transition them. Now, here's where they, that was an artery and that was, that was the vein right there. Not, not all this stuff. 
that's what leaked out and I believe that's it it might be there it's hard to tell it might be there and leaked over but there the center is where you have your your action going on see look at that one I got so many pictures of this I had I've flushed this out about a thousand times now I saw something with blue stuff today that was very similar to that pattern now here this is these are lungs that's what's in lungs those are they call a shock crystal shock quartz no absolutely not that is lung crystals and between those crystals which are the little sound, round holes in your lung where the air goes in and they there's air, normally air in, in these holes there's a holes and the blood surrounds it and picks up the chemicals and transfers chemicals in and out which it goes in as gases and acids and so forth anyway where are we? Uh, you see it look at that that's that's inside of of a lung and i'm telling you right now i think these particular those are all transition metals which you see colors those are transition metals and if you don't have you don't have them in the right quantities in the right places at the right time you the chemistry is not going to work it's like a catalytic converter you see how unbelievable you see that and they call that shock course because they have no idea how that forms they never know this without understanding that's one of those tendon balls, the surface of the tendon ball. It's a busted up one. That's a vein that was in that tendon ball. There's an artery. Look at that. This is amazing stuff. I, I even amaze myself. <laughs> see this, this? See the fabrics? You see these fabrics in this thing. I, and I still can't find the one that I want to show. But I got so much of this. Look at this. What we got up here? That's that's the real. This stuff here, I think they call it a sh shungite. <laughs> I have it here in my property too. As they say it's only in Russia or something, but everything is everywhere. So don't have somebody's oh, it's only here, it's only there. No, it isn't. It's everywhere. This one, I don't know exactly what's going on with this one. You see the thing growing down inside? I think it's a plant or something growing way down inside the blood vessel. I'll find this thing for this. Oh, see, there's gold in these things. See the gold coming out of them? That one there is is like a tendon ball wrapped around. It's, the whole thing is a ball like this. And it locks in like with teeth. Those are like teeth. Oh, here it is, finally, holy smokes, yike, ramba. This is what this guy had this morning. Um, I, I'm thinking Daniel Helms, i I'm got to be honest with you, I can't remember the name. But he had some good stuff, and he had this black-looking, very, very shiny, metallic-looking stuff. And when I looked at it very closely, I could see these in there. Now, what this is, is grip skin. This will become the same thing that he has, only this is gigantic. This is from, um, well, this is small, but it's in a gigantic fingertip. Or maybe it's a toe. It's a toe. And uh, that's the grip skin. Uh, whoops. Wrong mouse again. All right, there it is. There's the grip skin. What else we got? Look at that. Look at that. What a mess that is. <laughs> I got, got hit by a freaking steamroller. <laughs> but there's your red blood, there's your black blood, there's your gold and all kinds of minerals and metals gushing out. I don't know, that's probably from somewhere where there's an organ, a heart or something. All right, that's the top one. All right, so anyway, that's, um, I guess I'll just let it go with that. A lot, a, a lot to consider, a lot to consider. It's time to study this stuff, to walk away from it and, and consider it to be unworthy of of examination I mean it is so deep in every respect it's just now becoming very very hard to accept I mean I'm, I'm trying to accept it you know they say accept what you have to accept but this is really not really acceptable to me I guess you can just go about your ways and, and everybody else can do there but I'm I, I confront people I say you you know you, you're not you're not even in the real world anymore you know, they start talking to me, oh, you got to see this, you got to, well, no, no, I don't have to see that because it's not real. 
You know, they refuse to look at the stuff that I present. That's what happens to me most of the time. But I don't know. I'm just going to let it go with what happens. Because it, it, it's become so overwhelming now, it's, it's got to become a terrible, terrible embarrassment for them. And I'm sorry for that. But the, the, the embarrassment is all of their own making. They should have stopped and said, you know, let's take a look at it and see what it is. We could have been wrong. Wow, let's investigate this. This is fabulous. Everybody would have been on board. But this is not right. 